This is the 2019 Math Kangaroo Levels 1112 Prom Number 30. The square shown is filled with numbers in such a way that each row and each column contains the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 exactly once. The sum of the numbers in each of the three bold bordered areas is equal. What number is in the upper right corner? A, 1, B, 2, C, 3, D4 or E5. This is the problem as it originally appeared on the test. And here is where we will be doing the solution. To start, the problem tells us that the numbers in the square are put in such a way that each row and each column contains the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 exactly once. The sum of those five numbers is 15. We know that each row has those five numbers. So if we have 15 per row and the entire square has five rows, we know that the sum of all the numbers in the square must be equal to 75. We also know that the sum of the numbers in each of the three bold bordered regions is equal. So we have a total sum of 75 divided by three regions, because again, each region has an equal sum, would mean a sum of 25 per region. So let's start with this region, where we have the two that is given to us in the problem. We know that the sum of the numbers in that region must be equal to 25. 25 minus 2 is 23. So we have these five remaining squares, and we need the numbers in those five squares to add up to 23. So I found the average to be about 4.6 per square, but we don't really need to calculate exactly what that average is. Just using um, logic, you can figure out that 23 divided by 5 should be around 4, but greater than 4. So we know that we need to have a combination of 4s and 5s in order to reach 23. So we know that we can place three 5s, one in each column, as so, which would give us a total sum of 15, right, because we have three 5s, plus a 2, 17, which means that the two remaining squares must add up to 8, which means we can do 4 and 4. And this is the only way that we can place the 4s and 5s, because keep in mind, we can't have two 4s in the same column, or in the same row, or two 5s in the same column, or the same row. So that region, we have achieved the sum of 25. Now let's look at the other region which has that question mark, that's the number we're trying to find. So let's start by kind of using the same approach. We know we have 25 among six squares, which in your head you can figure out should be around four per square. So we're gonna have some fours, um, maybe some fives and maybe even a three to balance out to an average of four. So let's first think about where we can place our fives. Well, we know that we have a five already in this row, so we can't place a five in that square. And in this column, we also have a five, so we can't place a five over here either. So we know that our fives must be placed in this. Um, area in those four squares, two of them must be fives, because keep in mind we need to reach that sum of 25 and we can't do that with less than two fives. And we can't have three fives in that area because then there would be two in the same row or two in the same column. So they must be placed diagonally in that four square. One way could be like this. Let's see if this works, if we place the two fives like that. Well, if we place the two fives like that, we won't have enough 
room for all the fours that we want to place. Because let's say we have two fours, we have one here and one here, the sum will be 10, right, because we have two fives plus the two fours, will have a sum of 18, so I mean the two remaining squares to add up to 7 in order to get that sum of 25. But keep in mind, we can't add another 5 because all the rows um, can only have one 5 and all the columns can only have one 5. So the only way we can make the 7 is by using 3 plus 4. And we can't place another 4 here, right? Because there'd be two fours in the same row. And we can't place another four here because we have two fours in the same column. That means that the fives can't go there because we need three fours in order to reach that sum of 25 using the right number of each number because again, you can't have more than two fives because there's not room for them to have only one in each column and one in each row if you have more than two. So that means that the fives must be placed like this in that four square thing. And this is nice because it also lets us have a place for a four over here, which makes sense because we do need a four in each column and a five in each row and column as well. So what do we have? We have two fives, which is a sum of 10, plus three fours, which is a sum of 12. So that adds up to 22. 25, which is the total sum for that region, minus 22 is equal to three. So that means that in this question mark, in the box with the question mark, sorry, we should be placing the number three, which is answer choice C. Thank you so much for watching and please like, comment, and subscribe.